Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff, and sometimes the cool thing about being a reviewer is that things show up at your doorstep and you don't know what they are, like this. This came to the door today from FedEx and I had no idea what it is. It's huge, if you can't tell, and it's from OnePlus, it turns out, so I'm assuming that it's the OnePlus 3T, and obviously it's got to be other stuff in the box. I mean, the OnePlus 3T can't be this big, right? Last year they gave me a press box that had all kinds of goodies in it, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Alright, so... What in the world? So it's a thing. It looks like a, a bag thing. What the heck? OnePlus leather messenger bag. Maybe the phone's inside of it, so it's tied at the top. Let's go ahead and... It smells very, very leathery. Doo -doo -doo. And inside, yeah. What is it? Look at this thing. I could literally fit in this. Thanks, OnePlus. Okay, so now we have the goodies. When I reach inside, we've got uh, the OnePlus 3T. This is the gunmetal 128 gigabyte model. So excited. Looks like we've got a case. Actually, this was my favorite one. The ebony wood case. And we've also got, uh, what are these? OnePlus bullet earphones V2 black. Cool, cool. And uh, what's this? And we've got a shirt. What size is this? It's probably not gonna fit me. Nothing fits me. This is in a medium, All right? I'll play along. If I uh, shrunk this, like really shrunk this, maybe I could wear it as a pajama shirt or something. So that's nice. Could probably fit my dog in this thing. Hey, Bruiser, come here. Well, he insisted that he wanted to be up here on the couch with me. Let's see if we could kind of fluff him into this bag. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Okay, there we go. He fits. It's a pooch pouch. It's a pooch pouch. Yeah, you like it. You think it's good? I think Bruiser approves. <laughs> he totally fits it. Would you like the bag? I don't think he wants to be in the bag anymore. Hmm. Now getting back to serious stuff, let's go ahead and open the box. Oh, we're just gonna make a little slit like so. And there. You know what? Let's go into my filming room so we can be on the filming desk so you can get a better look at this once the box is open. Okay, so here we are now in the filming room. I just put the lid back on the box so we can enjoy it right here up close in person. So let's go ahead and lift the lid up slowly for effect. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And there it is. You can see I've got the OnePlus 3 with us so I can compare them back and forth. Although aesthetically, they're exactly the same. So let's go ahead and see what's in the box, shall we? We've got the phone. And you've got... This little compartment here where you've got some documentation and a sim ejection tool i believe let's go ahead and check that out yep there you go quick start guide sim ejection tool Just set that aside then underneath here you can see it says one plus three t which as far as i understand is like the s's of the iphone get he come here i know if i tip it all this stuff's going to come out of the box there we go. So then we have the dash charger and also the USB-C cable to go with that. And that is all that you have there. So we're going to peel off all various stickers and things. But when I was using the OnePlus 3, I was completely in love with it. The look, the feel, the ridiculously fast charging, the notification switch that we have here on the side, the speed, the software customizations, the on-screen or capacitive key choice, which I really appreciate with AMOLED displays. I even appreciated that it's only 1080p for slight graphic improvement and battery performance. And it's dual SIM. So this has all those same advantages as well, and more, we will get into those. Let's go ahead and peel all the stickers off. Ah, uh, very nice. 
and we can get it started up. Now, as we are waiting for this to start up, I wanted to take a second to thank my sponsors at Graphic Stock so much for making content creation possible. Graphic Stock has the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, vectors, and images on the internet with over 300,000 plus and counting. Most websites charge per image or graphic for you to be able to use their images in commercial projects, and it can cost as much as $30 per image. These costs add up quickly when you are designing a website, running a blog or YouTube channel like I do, or making do-it-yourself or art projects that you might want to sell. With Graphic Stock, you get unlimited downloads for one flat annual fee, and all memberships come with a 100% royalty-free agreement. This means that you are protected and cannot get sued by copyright holders for using these images in your commercial projects. Usually $99 for a year, for this holiday season, Graphic Stock is offering an exclusive $50 discount, so you can get access to this massive image library and royalty-free license for $50 off. Go to graphicstock.com holidays or click the link in the description box below to get $50 off a one-year subscription of Graphic Stock. So now that this is all booted, what is different about this phone that looks so similar to its predecessor, the OnePlus 3? So we now have a 128 gigabyte storage option alongside the original 64 gigabyte, which is nice because there is no SD card slot still. It's just dual SIM. We've got a bit bigger battery inside of here, 3,400 milliamp hours versus the 3,000 of the OnePlus 3. Still has the extremely fast dash charging. We've got a bit faster processor. This is the Snapdragon 821, which is more power efficient. And Qualcomm says this means faster app launches, shorter boot times, and up to 10% performance increase compared to the previous model, the OnePlus 3. So I'm going to have to test this out for myself. And by the way, this is the faster clocked S821 over the slower clocked version on the Google Pixels. This is the real deal for the S821. We now have a new gunmetal color, and this is a little bit darker than the graphite one, although at first glance, I really can't tell the difference. Though the soft gold one will remain for the OnePlus 3T, looking just like this. Another major change that we have is this has a 16 megapixel camera on the front over the 8 megapixel camera that we had previously. I want to test this out. Actually, what I should do is just create a video update. I've got the OnePlus 3 review. I will put a link in the description for that. And then I would just like to create an update type of review talking about how this performs compared to this one with just those updated features that we're talking about here. So what is my thoughts on them creating another phone pretty much right after they release this one? Well, I know they did this because they wanted to stay current with the new tech instead of having to wait for a whole new cycle. And I admire that, although people who already have the OnePlus 3 are probably not going to be very happy. So if you already have the OnePlus 3, I don't see a need to update to the OnePlus 3T unless you really want that 128 gigabytes of storage, for example. Otherwise, this is still a really great phone. Don't be disappointed. If you do not have the OnePlus 3 at all yet, of course, go for the newest model. What was so charming about the OnePlus 3 was the price. At $400, you could get a really great smartphone. So if you go for the OnePlus 3T, you are going to have to boost your money is a little bit, so it's $439 for the 64 gigabyte option. Basically, it's a $40 increase for this new model, which is not bad at all. But if you want to step it up to 128 gigabytes, it's going to be $479. So now that's $79 that you'll have to fork out over the 400. So the OnePlus 3, again, still makes sense. Oh, and before I forget, I just wanted to install this nice case here. has that nice wood feel to it. I like OnePlus's cases because they're really slim fit. It's got that small bump here to protect the camera. Otherwise, it really doesn't feel like there's anything on the phone, except for a bit of a texture to it. So that's nice. So stay tuned for my update video. It's going to be just a simple video, seeing what has really changed. I will look at performance changes. I will look at the front-facing camera. Of course, I'll measure that display. Curious to see how this does with battery life with that 4,000 milliamp hour increase. It's a beautiful phone, you guys. But is it going to be worth it to you compared to what you already have with the OnePlus 3 at that great price point? Let me know. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will get back to you as soon as I can with a bit of an update. 
I'm still working on the LG V20 review. Some of you guys have a question about that. There's plenty of stuff coming for the end of the year. I will also be doing a smartphone award video, like a top five video of my favorite phones. OnePlus 3 definitely will place there. That's just a hint. So again, let me know what you think about this new iteration and have a good night.